Hey all, today we're going to have a quick look at how to achieve the half speed cassette tape effect using nothing but Logic and its stock plugins. So step one is going to be to actually achieve the half speed effect. To do this we take everything we have in the Logic arrangement window and we bounce it down to an individual audio file. This can be done to individual tracks as opposed to consolidating tracks into a single file. If you decide to keep tracks separate it will give you more flexibility later on during the mixing process. Next we're going to take the newly bounced audio file and stretch it to half speed. To do this we need to go up to the toolbar and activate flex on the audio channel. And then coming down to our audio channel we need to enable flex on said channel. This then presents us with a drop down menu within which we want to select flex time speed effects. We then want to click and drag at the top right hand corner of our audio file and in this case we're taking it from 2 bars to 4 bars. Upon playback you can now hear the difference between the original and the newly formed half speed version. Looking at our new channel then, we want to apply plugins to try to better emulate the sound of cassette tape and all of those lo-fi elements that you'd expect to hear. Firstly, we look to add some saturation distortion using Softube's Saturation Knob. This is the one plugin that's not included with Logic, but it is free to download. I'll leave a link in the description. It's then a case of dialing in how much saturation we want at this point. With the saturation added, we then look to Logic's tape delay to try to achieve the pitch bending and warbling sound effects that's often associated with age cassettes and old cassette decks. We need to first remove the delay elements from Logic's tape delay. So to do this, we turn off tempo sync and bring down the delay time to zero milliseconds. We then also want to adjust the dry and wet signal, bringing the dry down to 0% and taking the wet all the way up to 100%. We then take the feedback down to 0% also. And playing back the signal, we can begin to mess with the character module and the modulation module within the tape delay.
To further give the impression that this is coming from an age cassette deck, we then want to try and add some form of the signal dropping in and out slightly, and to do this we use Logic's tremolo effect. We start by adjusting the tremolo to mono by moving the phase of the right hand channel to zero. We then reduce the smoothing down to 0% and we adjust the depth to around 30%. We then turn off the rate sync. For best results we want this to seem as random as possible and so it's best not to stick to a set rate. Instead what we can do is we can activate latch on the channel and we can record the automation to give that illusion of randomness. Having recorded the automation of the rate knob, we can then adjust the depth as a form of mixing the effect in and out to taste. We then look to use Logic's channel EQ to reduce the low end, which has now been emphasized in stretching out the audio file to half the speed thus transposing the frequencies down by one octave. take some out of the high end as well, just to add to the cassette tape effect. Finally then we look to employ two compressors, both to glue the overall sound together, but also to reduce the dynamic range to that similar to a cassette tape. This second compressor, the OTT, is also free to download and a link will be included in the description. This ties the chain off nicely and leaves us with an effect very similar to that of an aged cassette tape. Thanks for watching.